getting baptized. Thank you for joining us today. Today is February 4th, 2023, and tomorrow, February 5th, 2023, is going to be a pretty big and significant day in Maya's life. What's so special about tomorrow? I'm getting baptized. You sure are. Do you know what baptism means, Colin? It means you go in water and you say sorry to God for everything you did, get bad. Does it also <laughs> mean that you give your life to God and you let him, and like, yeah? Yeah? Okay. <laughs> so we believe that baptism is just a public proclamation that you are choosing to follow Jesus. So it's something that Maya has decided in her heart and tomorrow is just the day where she's going to make it known to our church community. Maya, what are we doing right now? Making bracelets. No, we're not. No, we're not. We're not making bracelets? No, we're making, we're making fragile God pieces of angels. <laughs> yeah, guys, we're making fragile God pieces with angels. Well, I'm not quite sure what Colin is doing, but we're making bracelets and it started by, Do I went bracelets. on Etsy to try to find something that I could give Maya for a special memento of her baptism. And I found some really cute clay bracelets with little clay beads on them. But then I kind of thought, why don't we just make our own? That'd be a little bit more special. So that's what we're doing right now is we're making some bracelets and Maya's making some that will help her remind her of her special baptism day. How many bracelets are you making, Maya? Two to three. And what are they gonna have on them? One of them is going to say the date of my baptism, and then one is going to have a little ship steering wheel, and I haven't thought about the other one. Yet. And as you can see, we have our friend Annabelle over here who is making bracelets with us, and Addie is joining us. We've already heard from Colin. <laughs> Addie, what are you putting on your bracelet? I'm putting the date of my <laughs> baptism because I got baptized <laughs> about two years ago. No, three years ago. So I'm going to put the date of my baptism on my bracelet. I don't think I'm going to be making any bracelets today, but I already have a couple on my wrist that are gifts that I got at a foster care event. My bracelet is mostly fragile pieces of wings and chicken wings. Chicken wings? What? I'm ordered KFC after I'm after school. KFC? Daddy ordered Let's KFC. See. Oh, are you writing your name on this one? Okay, but it's going to be a blast to have a jazz. Maya first told me that she was ready to get baptized through a journal that we keep right over here. Something I started a few years ago was that the girls and I write letters to each other. We have a special place in our living room where we keep these journals. Each of my daughters has one. There's one for Addie, there's one for Maya, and there's one for our current foster daughter. It's a place where I can write just affirmations. I can speak truth over them. I can just remind them who they are in God's eyes, tell them how proud I am of them. And it's also a place where they can come to me um, with anything that's on their heart. You know, I let them know that there is no judgment, that it's just a place where we can just freely communicate with each other. And that's where Maya chose to first tell me that she wants to be baptized and that she wants to give her heart to the Lord. The girls and I have an understanding that anything we put in the journal is private. It's just between me and that particular daughter. But Maya did give me permission to show you a little snapshot of that particular page where she decided to give her life to Jesus. Annabelle, what are you putting on your bracelet? Um, well, These beads in Annabelle 
then there's a dog bone and it says mine. Aww. <laughs> Looking great. Thank you. So what's your baptism date? My baptism date is two, February 16th, 2020. So I made a little bracelet with that on it. I love it. It's the evening before Maya's baptism now, and she's working on writing a letter that she will be pinning to a cross tomorrow at church before she actually gets baptized. And I'm heading upstairs now because I want her to show you something that we're really excited about. If you watched Maya's birthday vlog, you probably saw that she received a gift uh, that included a For Girls Like You magazine subscription. And it's a magazine that's designed for girls probably around ages 7 to 12. Um, it's a Christian magazine and we told you that she was going to be featured in a magazine and that magazine is out right now. Hey my girl! Hi! How's it going? Good. I was telling our viewers about your For Girls Like You magazine. Yeah. Would you like to share with us? Sure. Let's see. This is the January, February, February issue. 2023. 2023. Do you know what page you're on? Page <laughs> 7. Page 7. Let's check it out, Maya. It's a girl like you, Maya M, and it has an interview that you did with the magazine. At the bottom, there's a section that says my favorite, so... My favorite color is blue. My favorite song is My Jesus. My favorite book is Keeper of Lost Cities. My favorite food is red beans and rice. My favorite thing to wear are Crocs. Oh, you got your Crocs on. <laughs> my favorite vacation is Dollywood. My favorite class in school is art. And my favorite Bible verse is Proverbs 16:24, And that is, gracious words are like a honeycomb, sweetness to the soul and health to the body. Well, we had so much fun doing that interview and seeing yourself in the magazine, didn't we, Maya? Yep. So if you have a girl around 7 to 12 years old, we encourage you to check out the magazine. It has such sweet and positive messaging, and it's really just a, a precious gem that we have come to love. Yep. <laughs> and I love that Sandy made it in the magazine. Me too. And we've got a little bit of our secret playroom, too. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready for tomorrow morning, girly? Yes. I'm so excited for you. It's going to be a very special day. Yes. So it's the morning of Maya's baptism and I'm currently braiding her hair because we thought it would be a little bit easier to deal with after she gets dunked than having a huge tangly mess to deal with when she gets baptized. Mm -hmm. Give me a spin, Maya. Oh, Addie did a good job. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> We're leaving for the church in about half an hour, so I'm trying to run around and get the house all prepared because right after the service, we're going to be coming back here and inviting a group of our friends over from church, from our community group, some neighbors and family, so we can uh, celebrate this big, exciting, and very eventful day. I am the dunker. <laughs> You're going in, Maya. <laughs> Today we are celebrating baptism. We're baptizing 72 people.
Thank you. <laughs> what did Grandma and Grandpa and Uncle Chris give it's, you? It's my birthstone. Birth <gasps> it has my birthstone on cool. it. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. I love it, girly. We're back home. The baptism ceremony was just beautiful. I had tears in my eyes. I just didn't know how much it was gonna touch me emotionally, but it was just such a sweet and powerful moment and just to get to be there back behind, Jason actually got to dunk her into the water and bring her back up and what a precious moment it was. Maya, what did you pick for dessert for our big celebration? Cheesecake. We got lots of cheesecakes from the Cheesecake Factory. What one did you pick out? What was your, my, uh, my got first dibs. Yeah, I got Celebration Cheesecake. Celebration Cheesecake. Let's see what we have here, Maya. Show us what we've got. So this is Celebration Cheesecake. Oh, I yummy, okay. This is Original Cheesecake. Gotta have just the basic one. Yeah. This is Chocolate Mousse. Chocolate Mousse. Chocolate mm -hmm. Mousse Cheesecake. This is Adam's. Peanut butter cup fudge ripple. Oh, that one's mommy's favorite. That one is lemon raspberry cream cheesecake. Which one is your second favorite? I have to say the original. Original? A good choice. Jason is pre-slicing them. Jason, what is your go-to? I didn't know what the answer is. What is your go-to cheesecake? My favorite cheesecake mm -hmm. of all time from the Cheesecake Factory is the Adams peanut butter. By far, that's the best. <laughs> we are big fans of any time you combine chocolate and peanut butter. Yeah. Maya, did you get a puppy for your baptism? Yeah. No. <laughs> My puppy. So we have a puppy visiting us. No, Maya did not get a puppy today, but one of her buddies just got a brand new puppy, and so the puppy got to come over and so we're all thrilled because we doesn't love puppies. I went down in the playroom to try to find the kiddos, and nobody was there, and I came outside, and I think they've taken over our climbing tree. <laughs> Maya, what name did you give your climbing tree? Oh, oh, Wisdom. Sorry. Wisdom. Yeah. I after who's the king that had all the wisdom? Solomon. <laughs> You're right. You know, we haven't even lived in Tennessee for a full five years yet. I think it's just been about four and a half years and I'm always just in awe and feel so blessed that we have such a sweet group of families that just pour into each other, that we do life together, and we help disciple each other's children. And I just feel so thankful today when I get to see all the people that are gathered together to celebrate Maya's baptism. Maya, are you having fun at your celebration? Yeah. Oh, we love celebrating you, girly. Yeah, we did. I'm opening a bubble. Right. Oh. Maya and my girls cannot have a celebration without what, Maya? Sparkling cider. Sparkling cider. I can't. you get it? You can't get can't. it. You got it. Use those muscles. I can't. We'll get Grandpa to help you. Wait. Oh, good job. Aww. Well, it's the end of Maya's baptism day and it was a pretty special day, wasn't it? Yes. We had yummy cake, get friends over and climb trees, but more than that, today we're celebrating you giving your life to Jesus. Yep. And I've already seen do I've already seen God do some pretty incredible things through you, through you, Maya. And I know there's going to be so much more and I just can't wait to watch it and to see the way God uses you. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching Tic Tac Toy Family and for just being a part of this special day for us. It's been precious and sweet in so many ways and we're just so glad you got to come along with us and celebrate such a wonderful day. Thanks for watching. What do we say, Maya? XOXO. XOXO. Bye.